Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. This rack has been waiting for us, waiting for this video to be filmed, and I am so excited to finally be filming it. Today I'm going to be taking you through all of the pieces that are on this rack, which includes all of the things that I have purchased for the upcoming spring season. There have been so many wonderful, colorful, pastel -y, but also neutral pieces that have been flitting about the online shopping world, and I was more than happy to oblige and pick up some of these new pieces to help us get ready for the fashion in this new spring season. Here are the pieces that I have found. This is what I have picked up online for the new spring season to add into my spring wardrobe, if you will. I actively tried to pick up more color. I think I did an okay job, but it's still obviously very toned down and more on the neutral side of life. <laughs> but where I'm able to, each of the pieces that I talk about, I will try my best to link them in the description box down below for your viewing and shopping pleasure. If you guys like fashion videos, please do give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Now my friends, let us dive in. This first piece is a beautiful, beautiful little bralette from Zara. I actually picked this up in a medium and I currently have the size small in my cart because this one's just a little bit loose. Probably largely due to the fact that I have no boobs, <laughs> but I am very excited to have found this. I love the lovely crisp white color of this. I think it's going to go so beautifully under any cardigan or any of the blazers that we have going forward, and it's a piece that can be carried through not just spring, but into summer, into fall, winter. You can kind of wear this with anything over top and I love the versatility of that and I have been loving the whole bralette trend. I think it's so great. I love the matching sets, the bralettes with the cardigan. I think they're so cute and this was a fabulous version that I found at Zara. It is a more loose fit, like a loose sitting on the skin, so if you do have larger boobaciousness, I would be <laughs> warned of that, but you do have an adjustable strap, which you don't always see with these little knitted bralette numbers, so that's the first piece. Really excited about this. I'm excited to style that with all the blazers and goodness. Next piece is definitely not going to be <laughs> to everyone's taste, but I'm calling this my pumpkin vest. I picked this vest up from Zara as well. I also got this in a size medium and I'm just loving the continuation of the vest life. And I don't know why, I don't know why, if it's just like a varsity feel, a little checkered pattern. I just love this so much and I know that I could truly, like if worn wrong, I could look like the great pumpkin. But I just imagined it over like my black silk collared blouse, even over a big like poofy sleeve billowy white shirt. I just saw, I saw a lot of potential with this vest and I was really drawn to the color in it. I do understand that it's not gonna be to everyone's taste, but it doesn't matter. I'm a big fan and I was really excited about the the vibrant orange in this. It makes me so excited for like orange monochromatic makeup in spring and summer and ugh. Next, let's move on to the Ellie Mae pieces. Oh my God, their spring collection is absolutely to die for. They actually sent out a package, like the press kit for their new season and it was so beautiful and they actually sent this vest. The knit on here, like the actual fabric itself is just so delicate and so intricate. It is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. You guys know how I feel about the vest. Like I am thrilled to add another vest to my collection. This one was so, so kindly gifted to me from them. This is a size small. It's quite, quite an oversized fit, but I'm excited to style this. I saw one person on Instagram wearing this over like a, a silky dress and I thought that was really pretty. I don't, I don't have one but I could find one. But yeah, even just wearing this on its own, it's just such a such a gorgeous piece. And it was so gorgeous that I had to get the, obviously this beautiful ivory cream version of the vest. I got it in the same size, size small. It's just gorgeous. It's, it's such a unique, beautiful piece. And I was obviously so happy to support my darling friend Ellie. And I actually picked up two other pieces from the spring collection from them. This is the Gia blouse and Oh, you guys, like this pattern, this fabric is just so, it, it just looks so luxe, so delicate, but then it's like vibrant and bright at the same time. Their Gia blouse is stunning. This is a silk blouse. And this pattern is just absolutely to die for. It has these little shoulder pads in it. I'm so excited to style this. And I think that either of these vests will actually go really, really beautiful over it. That's kind of what I love about the vest. You can put it over a plain shirt or you can put it on anything that's patterned and it's just a really cool, combination. Can you see the texture in the fabric? 
I love it, love it so much. And then the final piece I picked up from the Ellie Mae Studio Spring line is this, this is the Kaylee, Kaylee shirt. And it actually had matching pants. This is a really beautiful, like lightweight yet thick at the same time linen material. I love the poofy sleeves in this. This top just screamed my name so much. I also got this in a medium and I'm really excited to just kind of wear that with anything. I love the collar on it, it's just beautiful. I cannot wait to put that on my body. <laughs> Okay, let's chat about some Arquette pieces. And I do wanna preface this because I do get a lot of questions being a, a Canadian gal about the Arquette shipping. And even though the mother company is H&M, they have not yet sorted out any kind of duty-free or better shipping to Canada. The duty fees are substantial with Arquette and it's pretty tough because if you're not familiar with the sizing, that can be very annoying because if you make any returns, you do not get your duties back. So that can be tough. It can be a little tricky if you're in Canada ordering from Arquette, but hopefully someday they will sort it out because I just, Arquette has just some beautiful classic pieces. I think everything they come out with could be considered like a staple or timeless piece in your wardrobe. I really, really love their basics and their elevated basics. I'm drawn to so many of their things and their trousers, like their tailoring is just phenomenal. I'm, I'm a huge Arquette fan, so I hope someday they will bless us with duty-free shipping to Canada. But anyway, I did end up picking this like really cool crinkled blouse. Love that brown is everywhere to be seen right now. Like this season, there's so much brown. I am here for the brown suiting which we'll get to in a second, but I, I love this color of the blouse. And you know what? I actually did get this in a size 38. Could have gotten a 36 or even a 34 just because it is so oversized, but I did try it on and I don't mind the oversized fit at all. This is definitely a shirt that I will tuck in to pants, but just if you're gonna pick something up similar, just know that you can probably size down. Like my normal size with Arquette is a 38 and that's in pants and the tops, but yeah, I could have sized down with this, but love it, super comfy, stretchy, lovely, flowy material, and love that blouse, love the brown. Oh, what's this, you ask? Another white shirt? Oh, why yes, it is, my good people. Did I need another white shirt? No, however, I did not have a white linen shirt in my collection, which I was really shocked by because I, I'm such a lover of linen. The material itself is just made for us uh, sweaty people. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually saw Lydia Elise Millen post about this linen shirt and I was like, say no more, I'm on it. And that was when I made my H&M order. So I did get this lovely crisp white linen shirt, which desperately needs esteem. Was very happy to have found that. Lydia, thank you for bringing this to our attention. I'm really, really thrilled about that. I did already show you guys this cardigan, but uh, I love this so much. This like pistachio green color is just so beautiful and it's, seeming to be popping about quite a bit right now in the spring offerings that we have. I really don't want to leave this on the hanger too long. I don't want it to get the little hangery thing. You know what? I am just going to take it off. But this is a size small. It is an oversized cardigan, but I just love the drape of it. I will wear it open or closed. And I think this lovely, lovely light green shade is just so beautiful. And it's 100% cashmere. It's part of the H&M Premium. Uh, pieces and wearing this with literally anything like wearing it with the white bralette wearing it by itself closed wearing it with a bodysuit paired with any bottom I just yeah, I hope that this is a forever piece in my collection. It's absolutely stunning. Oh another linen piece my friends Oh, I was really excited about this. This just makes me Really excited for the beach. I, I technically bought this with the intention of wearing it as like a beach dress, a beach cover up. It's very oversized. It's very, very big and flowy. That's obviously the intent for it, but this was a linen dress from Zara. I love the blue and white stripes. It's so beautiful. And because it's like actually longer than I was expecting, I feel like this will be really, really beautiful belted. You could wear this like with a big oversized vest if you wanted. You could wear it with anything underneath. You could wear it open with like white shirt and some jeans. I think that'll just look really crisp and beautiful. And then you can also wear it as a beach cover up and a dress. It's just a very, very versatile piece. The linen is really, really nice. It's not like too see-through. It's quite thick and substantial. And yeah, 100% linen from Zara. I was so, so, so thrilled to find this piece. Whenever brands like H&M and Zara come out with like 100% linen, 100% wool, 100% cashmere, it's a piece I love. I'm like very happy to jump on board and grab that because the quality is just 
so great and then you get it for a great price so i was really happy to find that i hope it's still available and i hope i can <laughs> link it down below for you guys but yeah love love that color it's a really nice fresh light blue okay jumping back to arquette i mentioned that the brown would be continuing and oh my god how dreamy i hope that the color is picking up on the camera i feel like it might not but it's just this beautiful deep true like chocolate chocolate brown oh my word she is stunning this i guess isn't necessary no this could be spraying you can put whatever color you want underneath it as a shirt or just wear it by itself buttoned up oh my god i haven't tried this on yet i need to try on the trousers as well here's to hoping they fit but like i mentioned normally in our ket pieces i am a size 38 so fingers crossed here's to hoping that photo of kendall jenner like walking in the full brown suit she wasn't wearing a jacket but she was wearing like brown trousers a brown silky top and a brown vest and i was like oh my god I love it so much. I, I think this is such a cool, cool way to spice up the tailoring in your wardrobe. And I love that brown is just popping up left, right, and center. I am here for it. And I'm really, really hoping, oh my God, fingers crossed that this fits. It's just so beautiful. We'll see in a sec. Now, speaking of suits and continuing on with the suits, I know that this might look alarming. You might be like, are you serious? Did you really buy four blazers and four suits? No, and this is where I need to toss up a vote here because I was actually just curious and both H&M and Zara have free returns in Canada so I was like whatever no problem but both H&M and Zara came out with this like minty pistachio green suit okay and I was so curious to see what the two versions looked like and I definitely want to keep one or the other I'm I'm edging towards the H&M one. This is the H&M suit and this is the Zara one. And I just absolutely wanted to add some color to my tailored pieces wardrobe life. <laughs> yeah, I got each of the blazers with the matching pants as well. And I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna put them on in a sec, but tell me what you think, which one I should keep. Just looking at them side by side, I prefer the color of the Zara one. I find it a more like true pistachio green. This one from H&M is a little bit more faded. It's a little bit more on the blue side than this one. And and I was excited about it being green like I bought them thinking that they were both the true green but yeah this one's a little bit more blue but I don't like the buttons on the Zara blazer I like that these ones have the little the cute little I don't know what you call that shell shell looking button does that make sense like this one looks like buttons on a pillow you know what I mean anyway so we'll put them on and put them to the test and I need your guys's help to let me know which one I should keep but one of them is happening green blazer baby I am so excited I think these lighter pastel shades are just so stunning and uh, I love that this color is popping up a lot this spring okay so finally the final piece in my little spring clothing haul is another blazer from H&M the fabric is beautiful it says it's 50% recycled polyester which is really cool but I love how long and oversized this blazer is and it's just a really nice light material I just felt like this color in particular was just like the perfect light beige and it would just go with so many things in the wardrobe you know this is like a staple classic piece to have and the quality is just really nice and I wanted to pick it up to see how it fits I I'm not gonna lie I already snuck this one on and it fits super beautifully so I think this is gonna be a big yes for me <laughs> so those are all of the pieces that I have picked up that is everything in my spring clothing haul I'm gonna switch to the smaller little vlog cam and try each piece on and show you guys in a little mirror shot so you can see how they fit you guys can help me decide which of these suits if any I should keep let's just put these pieces on our bodies all right guys this is the first thing I wanted to put on I simply had to try on the Arquette suit it is definitely more oversized and I don't know if the colors showing up true in the picture but I love this so much the trousers actually have a little bit more of a loose fit but they're super comfy and they just have like that nice little like wearable stretch to them. It's like a nice straight leg. It seems like it has a little bit of a taper there, but I love the brown color and I like that each of these pieces I would happily wear either together or on their own styled with different things. I don't think that this little white bralette actually suits under here, but I did just put it on. It is a little bit loose. Uh, the medium was a little bit too loose for me in my small boob itty bitty titty committee club, but um, yeah, that is the Arquette suit. What are your feels about the brown tailoring that's popping in the world? I am thrilled about it. Okay, next up is the Zara suit. Now, I need your guys' help here. I'm going to put the H&M one on after, but this is the Zara suit in all of her glory. It's got the little like cinch in the waist of the 
blazer, but yeah, I just don't know how I feel about these buttons. I don't know, I love the color, and these pants are also absolutely beautiful. It's a true, like, nice tailored dress pant, and I really like how the white bralette looks under this, but this is the Zara suit. I'm gonna put the H&M one on next, and I need your guys' help to decide. But yeah, just a little bit more of a slim fit in comparison. Let's put the H&M one on and see. So right away you can see that the blazer has a bit more of a boxy feel, which for me makes it just feel a little bit more casual. The blazer is a little bit more oversized and these pants are also cropped. They're, they have an ankle crop. The Zara ones are a full length and they're just a little bit more, a little bit more casual in terms of how the, the dress pant looks. And this one's a little bit more on the on the blue side. So this is the H&M suit. I feel like overall this one just feels more casual. It feels more cozy. I mean like honestly I'd like to keep both because I do feel like they each have such a different vibe and feel but there's absolutely no way I need two green minty colored suits in my wardrobe. So I need your guys' help. Which one should I keep? H&M or Zara? Let me know in the comments below and if you hate them I don't want to know because I love them and I love these colors. <laughs> This one or the other one? What are you guys, what are you feeling? So now this is the other H&M blazer. I think it just hangs in a really flattering way. I love the fabric. It's nice and loose and really comfy. And yeah, this color is just perfect. Like it, sometimes it can be really hard to find a good true light beige. Sometimes they're a little bit more yellow. Sometimes they're a little bit more brown or sometimes even more of like a greeny olive color. Like this is just a nice true light creamy beige, and I am thrilled, thrilled with this lovely little blazer find from H&M. So next up is this beautiful, beautiful linen dress, over shirt, beach cover up, whatever you want to call it, this lovely linen number from Zara. I, I put my jeans back on. Honestly, I kind of, I would wear that. I would wear this layered over jeans. That doesn't even bother me. But yeah, as a dress, like actually even over this little bralette, I think that's super cute. I love the flow of this. I think it's super flattering. I totally wear it just hanging like this. I would wear it open and then I grabbed my little belt. I wanted to see what it would look like, a little, a little belt moment. I don't know how I feel about this brown belt. I'm just gonna say that's a that's a no for me. We will leave it open and flowing. <laughs> okay, here is the linen shirt from H&M. Beautiful, really, really nice material. Super light, flowy, it's a little bit see-through. Don't mind my nipple. <laughs> I just gave it a quick little half tuck there. Absolutely love the shape of this. It's a really, really great, great quality linen shirt. And you can never go wrong, never go wrong with a little crisp white shirt moment. Oh my god, the Gia blouse. This is the Ellie Mae Studios Gia blouse, you guys. This is, huh, if I could like dream up a perfect blouse, this is it. I love this pattern so much. It is so gorgeous. I like, I like the little shoulder pads. I kind of don't like that you can see them through the material, but I love the effect that the little shoulder lift has. Look at that pattern. It just makes you happy. It makes you happy looking at it. I totally wear that just hanging, but you know, love me a good little, little tuck here. This is so cute. Oh, I love this blouse. I love this little combo so much. This is so fun. Love the vest layered over this. And this just, yeah, the detail in the vest is insane. Look at that. Look at the detail. This, this my friends, this is spring. Okay, here is the little pleated shirt from Arquette. So you can, I don't know, can you see my nipples in here? I don't know, I just lifted my arm and I was like, whoa, that looks see-through. <laughs> but yeah, it is a little bit oversized, but when I've tucked it into pants, I actually really don't mind that. I think it kind of gives it a, a cooler little vibe there. Anyway, yeah, I thought this shirt was super unique. Love the details. That is the, the little brown top from Arquette. Oh man, oh, I love this blouse so much. This is the Kaylee blouse from Ellie Mae. I would definitely wear this tucked in, but I obviously just want to show you guys how it is. I don't even mind just like doing a little, hmm, moving one thing over, you know, like the good little Instagram pose. But yeah, I love, love the colors on here. Just the really warm light brown with the cream. Yeah, I think you could just pair this with any pair of pants, white trousers, brown trousers, jeans, anything. Absolutely gorgeous. Love the poofy sleeves. Very, very renaissance feeling. I love it. Okay, so this is the vest that I feel like could be controversial. 
in its opinion, could be pumpkin man, race car driver-esque, but I just love the colors. This is the vest by itself, like, most likely would not wear it like this. Let me just try, let me just try my vision of the black silk shirt under it. See how that goes. Huh? What do we think? What do we think with the black shirt under? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if it's too much of a great pumpkin or if this is cute. Curious to hear what you think. <laughs> and finally, my friends, the beloved H&M cardigan. I love this color so much. I love the drape of it. You could totally wear it tucked in to jeans as well. I just think it is such a fabulous, fabulous, beautiful quality piece and I love Love the color so much. You could totally layer this with anything or just wear it open like this. It's so easy. It's such a great piece. One of my favorite finds out of the bunch for sure. And that, my friends, concludes the spring clothing haul. These are all of the pieces that I have picked up for the new season. Let me know your thoughts on each of the pieces in the comments down below. Let me know which suit, if any of them, and tell me on a scale of one to excited, how excited are you for spring and the weather? starting to warm up. Oh my god. I know that's not the case for everyone in the world, but listen, I am thrilled the sun is out, spring is almost here, people, and I am ready to re-enter the public world. <laughs> like I mentioned before, anywhere that I'm able, I will link the pieces that I've mentioned in the description box down below. You guys, thank you so much as always for watching, and I will see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!